Hello, students, and welcome to Thanksgiving week. We're only at school for three days, and then I'm off to eat some turkey. All right. So, we're gonna, speaking of turkey, we're gonna be doing two different turkey crafts. One, two, two, two turkey crafts. All right, so in your package, there's some fall leaves and you're gonna color them. And you can color them, you can put veins in it, you can just color it multicolors. Um, I, if you want my professional artist opinion, I would do the leaves in a kind of a multicolors. Cause you know, on the tree, you never see a leaf that's just one flat color when it com comes to fall. There's always variations of color, and that'll make it look more realistic. Now, if you want it to look all cartoony, just do it one solid color, because the turkey body is a little cartoony, so you could do that too. Or, you could be untraditional, and you could make your leaves colors that you want to make them, so you're not traditional. Like maybe pink or blue. Or if you want to show your pride, you can make a rainbow color. Whatever you want to do. I did mine boring one color because I have no creativity today. All right, so you color your leaves. Next, you take your big fat turkey and you're going to color him too. I'm sorry, he's not fat. We don't want to body shame him. So, you'll take your whatever color, again, you want to do. I'm doing my turkey brown. Let's call him Brownie the turkey. So we're going to just color him and do magic. He's gonna be colored. All right, then you're going to glue, let's just pretend like they're colored. It's gonna magically, this is a magic crayon and it's gonna continue coloring itself. Then you glue your leaves on the back of the turkey. <gasps> so it looks like turkey feathers. Now, this craft was is originally supposed to be done with leaves, but because of global warming, we don't have any pretty fall leaves around us. They're all shriveled up and dry and smoking from the, the um, the effects of global warming. So, when you get done, that's what it looks like. It's a little turkey. Just imagine him like this on your table for Thanksgiving. All right, next turkey uh, craft which global warming has actually helped. We're gonna make a pine cone turkey. And there was a lots of pine cones because they fell off early this year because of global warming. Now, in your packet, you have paint. Now, this is something that we don't usually send, so this is a test on if you can get it all over your room or not, because if you do, then we can't send no more paint. So be careful, get a paintbrush, which is not included, but you can get paintbrushes at where? Dollar Tree, where I tell you to get your glue because we don't supply that either. And you're just going to paint all of the little pine cone things, different colors, okay? You can make Actually, if the girls were smart, they would have given you yellow, then you would have had three colors and you could have mixed the yellow and red and made your own orange. But don't tell them anything. Because sometimes when I make suggestions, they smack me and make me sit in the corner. All right. And then you do orange. So orange and red, because you only have two colors. And you're gonna go all the way around. If you have yellow paint in your house, add some yellow because that's the third fall color. 
and it's already got the brown fall color on it because it already is brown. Anyways, you paint all of those just like feathers, okay? And then you take your turkey head, which this was cut off for Thanksgiving, but you're gonna reattach it. Because you know they have to cut off the head of the turkey. All right, so you take your little, and they did you a favor, I think. Yours is gonna come like this. Your little face is already made. And you're gonna take your glue, school glue this time, it needs to be thick, you can't use your stick glue. And you're going to glue it onto your little turkey pom-pom with the face on it. And now, you can do this a couple of ways. If you wanna be a little, make it look a little realistic, you could put it like this and then it's like he's laying on your table just getting ready to get eaten. Or, if you want him to look like a Godzilla turkey, you can put it this way so he's standing up tall. Or, you can put it right here. It's your choice. And that is our Thanksgiving turkey crafts. Stay tuned for those of you who are going to be getting the snack video because we are going to be doing snacks next. Bye.